been tragic, but as you can see, it's beautiful now. Um, I was trying to bargain on it. now recovered from our trauma of <laughs> up the k &A. You can see the smiles are back on our faces because last episode we were somewhat grumpy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we yeah. were a little bit grumpy. Um, it, it was okay. The second day um, last episode, what it didn't actually rain as much as it was forecast. Yeah, we got lucky, really. So we did get lucky, but I we think... We didn't get wet. I think by that point, we'd just... Thought, <laughs> it was just grey. Yeah, we both had enough, really. Um, so we didn't really video a lot. I videoed just coming into the entrance of the new marina, and that was about it. So <laughs> we're here. The boat is now back to her once-loved self. Well, almost. Well, I say that. We are sort of quite near trees, so um, she keeps getting covered, but... We spent all weekend clean. cleaning it. Yeah. Two weeks later, it's just <laughs> <dirty again. laughs> um, We had a nice, des well-deserved break at Crick Boat Show, and that was really good fun. Mm -hmm. um, and this episode, we are going to show we. you... The Royal We. Yes, Steve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How um, we're going to install air conditioning on our boat with a handy little tip that is not actually our own, it is stolen from Jonathan, Jonathan, um, who has a boat. So thanks Jonathan for the tip. Um, we have followed your lead and we're going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, so for our plan, um, what is required is a really nice clean chimney. Oh, we're just um, cleaning it, aren't we? Yeah. We don't but, need to, but... Well, it's better if it's clean. It's that time of year, isn't it? But, yeah, um, obviously. In fact, we didn't use our chimney not that long ago because the weather has been tragic, but as you can see, it's beautiful now. Um, so we need to... It's going to snow now. Yeah, probably. We're going to clean out the chimney um, and you've brought your Henry Hoover up, haven't you? So uh, we're going to give it a really good Hoover, Hoover out. Hoover out. Ready for... Jonathan's ingenious plan. If it don't work, I'll be going down to see him. Yeah, <laughs> should do. I don't know if this will work actually. So um, last time we videoed cleaning the chimney, you didn't bring your drill, did you? So this no, is a did much it, quicker way of doing it. Did it by hand. So Rich is attaching it to his drill. Cool. Ooh. I just do that. And it's super power chimney clean. Ooh. Wow. Just a tip though, don't pull it right out. No. No, because oh, it'll fly yourself. everywhere and you get absolutely covered. <laughs> It looks really funny. Huh? It looks really funny. So much easier. Oh, that's the end there. Idea to actually push it all downwards. It all falls the, down, yeah. Yeah. Into the actual stove. Yeah. And then get it all out from inside. Yeah. I think our skylight needs a clean as well. Yeah, I brushed it. Yep, that's looking uh, quite polleny because we're right by trees now. That's got the bucket down there, isn't it? Ah, what, ready to give it a clean? Yeah. And the windscreen, look. Yeah. Because that's looking quite tragic. It is. Yeah. What? Should have got a motorhome. I know, right? There's one for sale down there. 
I was trying to bargain on it. Okay, quick interlude whilst Richard is getting the Henry Hoover. I want to show you something we got at Crick Boat Show. Oh, you're probably not that interested, but I just thought it was ingenious. It's a little chair. And you can have it whatever height you want. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is now like all the rubbish in the fire. So you're literally going to just get as much out as possible, aren't you? Well, this, this is from a bag. We, we didn't clean it out when we got back, did we? <laughs> Um, but then he's brought up, because he doesn't want to ruin my nice Dyson, he's brought up his Henry Hoover. I it's... do the filters. Huh? It only lasts yeah, 30 seconds and the filters, filters are blocked. Yeah, so then he's going to hoover out all the fireplace. This is work, Henry. Look at the state of him. Oh, no. Poor little Henry. Bless him. He's used to it. Power mold. Doing the top. I should wiggle it around. <laughs> Done? Good job, isn't it? Look, look at me. <laughs> Dirty boy. We've well, got to clean that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. But we'll wipe that off, eh? That's better. All nice and clean. Well, I'll clean the glass and then I. Uh... And then we're ready to go. Yeah, quick. And just on a side note, <laughs> with um, this fireplace, if we had our time again and we could choose a fireplace, we'd probably now go for a diesel bubble stove, wouldn't we? Yeah. I it's... like the fireplace. I love it. Are we? Yeah. But... But I made the mistake of um, <laughs> cleaning a little bit up on the ceiling. And uh, because there's a, a few marks round the mushroom vents, I've forgotten what they're called then. Got a cloth, cleaned it, and then realised that the when... ceiling is <gasps> actually black. It's not Grey. black, it doesn't not... look black, but the dust and the stuff that come, gets in the air from these fireplaces does make them quite grubby. We've cleaned down all the walls as well, haven't we? Yeah, that wasn't Already. fun, was it? No. <laughs> oh well. Bye guys. However, I have seen some um, dusty patches up the top there. Well, I haven't cleaned that. <laughs> That's outside the fireplace. That's not my job. Oh, is that my remit? It's not, it? Yeah, it's not my mandate, that. <laughs> Sorry. So Richard's now um, undoing the little Allen key bits. No, you're undoing it with an Allen key. What are those bits called? Screws. Oh. <laughs> 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 so he's undoing Bolts. them to take out the glass in the fireplace which we'll need to store somewhere safe. And all will become clear. So back in the winter, I bought this air conditioning unit. <laughs> like you do. Like you do. I bought it in the winter because I thought um, probably get it a bit cheaper in the winter and also last summer, Air conditioning units went out of stock really quick because, um, God, what we get up to? 38, 40 degree heat. Crazy um, weather. Mm. So, yeah, bought it in the winter and then we've had it on board all of this time thinking we're never going to need that because the weather had been tragic. But things are picking up. It's 25 degrees in the boat today. And this is the ingenious plan. So, the air conditioning unit comes with a hose to vent out the warm air, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and a little bit like you would like uh, with a tumble dryer when you stick the tumble dryer hose out the window. And uh, Richard had seen some guy do this. Um, so Richard, if you move the fireplace door. Okay, so 
I bought online, just literally... We measured the glass, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, measured the glass. We measured I the glass. Bought online some thickness. just plain Perspex, um, cut to size, and then this is um, the unit that basically... That hold on, let me zoom in. Um, that you can use to... Oh, sorry, I'm fiddling with the camera. This is uh, the unit that you can use to put in a window. You can actually... Um, yeah, this that white bit yeah. is really long. So it's the width of a normal window, window and it clips into the window. Yeah. So we had to cut that yeah. to get this bit because that bit clips into this bit. Yeah. So we had to cut all this out to shape, which was great fun. Yeah. And then we had to cut the square hole in the perspex sheet yeah. to then bond it all into. Yeah. Not fun. No. <laughs> Cutting perspex is scary. <laughs> <laughs> However, now, so as can you can see, it fits that. in this fireplace. <laughs> and rather than us having to have the window open and venting it out of the window... They're quite difficult we on can these. now stick the hose straight into the fireplace and vent it up the chimney. Yeah. Well, let's see if it works, shall we? Well, the hose is this big, isn't it? Yeah. It's and you it. can't get it out of any of the windows. No. You'd have to squish the hose. Yeah. Or try and get it out of a porthole. Yeah. Which, no. So go see if it works. On here. Ah. There we go. Yeah. And... I don't think we need it that big. Huh? I don't think we need it that big. Yeah. Because it bends. Ah. So this one goes on here, doesn't it? Like that. Yep. And then this one will clip into there. He said. Like that. There you go. Okay. Should we plug it in so if it actually works? Ooh. Like some weird alien. <laughs> well, well, you, you sort of wanted to support it a little bit, don't you? Well, you could just put it straight in front of it, I guess, but I suppose it doesn't but it'd matter. stick does right it? out, wouldn't it? Because yeah. of the. Right, it. moment of truth. Plug won't reach. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to put it the other side then, aren't you? So while Richard's putting it the other side, the idea is, um, obviously, if we're plugged into Shoreline, that's absolutely fine. Um, Bessie but, can't get in his bed. But this will, um, like, literally kill our batteries running it if we're not plugged in. But our plan was that if we're cruising in the summer, then we can have this running whilst we cruise, keep all the windows and curtains shut, have it running, cool the boat right down whilst we're cruising, and then hopefully it would stay a lot cooler um, for, yeah. you know, once we've turned the engine off. That's the plan anyway, I don't know if it will work or not. Woo! That's blown right at me and it is chilly. <laughs> That's as slow as it goes. Yeah. What do these buttons do? I don't know, I'd have to get the manual out. <laughs> oh, it, it, it swivels around, doesn't it? It does um, oscillate as well, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's oscillating now. The whole unit doesn't oscillate, it's inside oscillates. You can the little feel fans it. The little moving, fans. the little vents in I there. I think you can. Yeah, Buster keeps jumping up. Yeah, you can see the fans moving. There you go, just stop them. Yeah! Woohoo! So, that we're letting it run now because it's really... freezing. Yeah, you should probably <laughs> let it run once you've started it up for a bit. We're like... Oh. It's got to set with the gases, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you've got... You've got 
I've got sit Richard's on his got chin. soot on his chin. <laughs> yeah, it's just in a day's work, isn't it? I always so, look like this. I know it's a bit cums cumbersome, looks a bit clumsy, but if we get 30 degrees, 40 degrees heat oh, again, be heaven. it will be lovely because that's getting quite chilly I'm now. I'm quite cold now, yeah. I'm going to go back outside. <laughs> So yeah, we thought this week we'd give you a little ingenious invention from one of our friends. So thanks very much, Jonathan. Work's an absolute treat. And I will be down to see you soon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, keep tuned. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.